it is snowing like crazy outside and my baby Yoda wants me to write a code in Python where I can generate a QR code and read it and that too in less than 10 lines. Let's begin. QR code is basically quick response code. So for example, if I have a video link, let's say this Bitcoin mining video, I want to send it to someone. And if that person doesn't want to type the whole thing in, I can generate a QR code for this link. So if you go to online QR code generator like this, and if you copy paste this, it will generate this code. See, so it generates code for pretty much anything. See, you can type random things and it will generate a code. And now once you have a QR code for this video link, what you can do is now you can scan this QR code in your phone, iPhone, whatever Android phone, and it will show you the link of that video. So see, now when I click on that video, it will take me there. So the module we are going to use is called QR code. So you need to install it. So you can just copy this command, pip install QR code, go to PyCharm editor, and in the terminal, paste this command. Okay, pip install. You can install this from your command prompt as well. Once the module is installed, you import it. So import QR code, and it's, very straightforward you will say qr code dot make and here you supply the string that you want to encode in qr code so in our case i'm going to put the link of my bitcoin mining code see i wrote a bitcoin mining code in like 15 lines of python code so that's the link i'm going to paste here and the result will be the image okay so result is image and that image I can save so I'm going to just save it in a bitcoin.jpg okay you can see my current folder is empty right now it doesn't have an image when I run this it will have this image which is the barcode for my bitcoin so if I scan this barcode you can try it by the way scan it using your phone so open your phone camera just show this image to your camera and it will take you to this particular link so you see like how convenient this is like just three line of code you generated a bitcoin uh mining codes uh the videos uh, short link you can pretty much supply any data actually it doesn't have to be url any data you want to encode for example my little baby yoda loves is eating blue biscuits so he ate 20 biscuits today so i'm going to encode that into same qr code okay i will just call it yoda.jpg when you run it you find another image in the same folder you see yoda.jpg these these two barcodes are different by the way see they are different but it's a unique code that you can later on read as well so let, let's try the reading part so for reading part you need to install uh, OpenCV module, okay? So this is how you uh, install OpenCV. So pip install OpenCV Python. So pip install OpenCV Python again here, okay, in the terminal. And once that is installed, you will be able to do import CV2. And then you can generate QR from CV2, QR code detector. There is a class called QR code detector and that has method called detect and decode detect and decode okay detect and de decode what let's say my baby yoda image so you can just say cv2 dot i am read so this is how you read the image in opencv and i will say yoda dot jpg okay and as a result i get three values back so if you look at the documentation say i get three return values okay return value point straight QR code so I'll just copy paste I'm lazy I'll just copy paste okay and I'll just call it val whatever and I'm not going to worry about these two methods the the first one these two parameters sorry the first one is your actual encoded string so when you print that see let me run it so when you print that it will say baby Yoda ate 20 biscuits today so what we did is we decoded a string into a QR into an image of QR code and same image. See here yoda.jpg. I'm reading, decoding it back, and I get my original string back.
I just showed you very simple use case. If you look at the documentation of QR code module, you can do advanced things like you can use QR code class and you can specify version, error correction and so on. So you just, just you can just explore it. But I just showed you a very, very simple use case. Uh, I want you to try this on different strings and different type of data and use your phone to scan it and you'll be amazed to see the results. Hmm, Baby Yoda, are you happy with that call? Looks like he is. So if you want your, me to write such a cool application in less than 10, 15 lines of Python code, then please provide a suggestion in the video comment below. Uh, we have done some code before where we can write, you know, Bitcoin mining code in Python, less than 15 lines, Instagram, you know, Google translations and so on. The playlist is in the video description below. He likes it. So just check it out. And if you have any other suggestion for the new videos, new baby Yoda demands, please post in a comment below. Thank you.